Hi everyone, welcome to the next video. Uh, this is another RetroBat video. Uh, this time it's um, adding Dreamcast. Again, I made a couple of videos uh, around adding different systems. Uh, but I had a, a request to to make one on Dreamcast, so that's that's what I'm planning to do here. So um, in the in the previous video, I I did a, a fresh install of RetroBat, latest version at the time, 511, uh, and used that to show how to install PS3. Uh, now I can use that same instance to show how to add Dreamcast. So I've got a couple of games in here for Dreamcast. Uh, they're in CHG format. Um, you can get them in in, in other format, for, or I think CDI, maybe ISO, um, but definitely CDI for for Dreamcast. I'd recommend CHG just because it, it's um, a, a, you know, it's, it's more. Um, I think of the right word, but you know what I mean. It's, it's more efficient. It's um, saves space. Um, it creates a lot of smaller files, um, which is important. One, you, know, you get a large, quite large collection. Uh, so yeah, in CHD format. So what I'm going to do is just take these. I'll copy these into the RetroBat ROMs folder, and there should be Dreamcast. There you go. So drop those in there. Again, I'm doing this kind of on the fly, not not re, you know pre-rehearsed <laughs> or, or scripted. I, I prefer to do it kind of real time, uh, so you guys can see any issues or anything that I come across and hopefully resolve in the video. So, like I said, all I've done is got some games ready, and I'll see Retrobat's a fresh install is ready to go. Okay, like all I've used it for is to show how to add PS3 at the moment. So, right, let's launch this. Bring it into view. Okay, so you, as you see here, um, got a PS3 from before. So, obviously, Dreamcast it's picked up, it's found those games. Um, so, if we go in and have a quick look, oh, wrong button, if we go in here and have a look, right, so it's picked them in. If I just go back and do a quick scrape. Not really essential at this stage, but um, I do quite like that. That's have scraped actually. So go to that one and just do Dreamcast for now. Hopefully it should be uh, pretty quick. Oh, I haven't put my login details for Screen Scraper. So I'll just type these in, I'll just pause quickly. Okay, so that's them both typed in. <laughs> just easier to pause the video than try and uh, blur out afterwards. So, okay, let's put those in and then let's go back. Back. Now we can try again. And you see in the top right corner there, it's just scraping. So uh, there's two ways you can actually install the emulator, because let's like say, when you first launch it, it'll prompt to install. So I could come here and I could go and find one of the games, I could launch it. Um, at the moment it's complaining about bar swipe, but I'm trying to launch it here and then it will prompt to install everything. Um, but like I say, the, the bar file isn't, isn't set up um, and then also things like the controllers aren't set up, so it's much easier to do what we did before. The PS3 is come to menu here and we've got a few options. We've got, we've got Demule, which does, uh, does Dreamcast, and Naomi and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, but then there's something also, something like Redream, probably one more popular one, so let's go for Redream. I'll like say that'll just uh, prompt the download and install for us. And then actually will run itself up. Again, always goes full screen. 
play game you see it's already image itself picked up those same games I've put in um, bits and pieces in here you, well, you, like, you can change the uh, screen size and all that kind of stuff and the input um, and here you can basically change the uh, input device play around with this um, at the moment we're just interested in uh, making sure it works so let's pick up those games and that scraping finish as well so we've got the we've got the games added great to actually as you make the scraping data effect you have to go down to game lists update game lists so yep and basically reload and now it's in so that worked so like I say it will it will now say we will try and launch the game the, the, uh, you don't know the bath parts okay so we'll say no we come back out um, obviously you can look up online what bath files you need uh, but another way you can do it is within the menu here LLI it's under game settings there's the option under here to uh, check for bis uh, missing uh, bath files so if we go down here and find Dreamcast I found this before they don't seem to be in alphabetical order unfortunately in the case we're just scrolling down right so for basic dream class it looks at this dc underscore boot dot bin dc underscore flash dot bin and there's also a dc dot zip which i've not seen before but so basically that that says what we're missing so I'm pretty sure i have those so there's a dc folder here so normally under the bios if there's a if there's a folder that's normally where it will look for um so if there's a folder for the, the you know that system or emulator, that's normally where it will look for the uh, the BAS file. But what we'll do, but quite often it will it it'll look there. If it can't find it in there, it will look in in the root of the folder. Uh, and normally if it can't find it there, it looks for in the emulator itself. You should probably find any emulators. Well, we've got Redream. You can possibly look for it in here as well. But anyway, so let's go and find that BAS file, which I'm pretty sure I've got. Um, he says, put some pieces in there for Naomi. Yes, I've got. DC underscore boot and DC underscore flash. He's also looking for DC.zip. Don't seem to remember or recognize that, but anyway, we'll try it without that. I don't think you need that. So I'll copy those and I'll put those into our uh, demo version of RetroVat under BIOS. Paste those straight in there. So we've got those now. Now we come back here. Cool it. Go right down to refresh. Get page down to go quicker. Let's refresh. And now scroll back down again. List. Uh, a bit tedious this bit, but. Ah, uh, see, so actually, I should have realised it says here it's looking under the DC folder, not the root. I'm sure, um, you know, I've seen documentation that says it'll look for under DC. If it can't find it, it will look for it under the root. But just to make things, make it happy, we'll stick those files in there instead. Now, in theory, if we scroll down this list, all the way to refresh. Uh, 
Uh, we'll scroll down this list again. I think we're about halfway down the page. There you go. So the other two have disappeared. Still says it's missing this this DC little zip, but I'm not convinced we need that. So we'll just try it out. So let's go back in the Dreamcast. Let's try a good old crazy taxi. So it's missing that file. I don't think we need it, but what you can do if it's if it's annoying you. Like the one you know, for, I showed you another video for PS3. It, it, if you don't have the PS3 update file in your BAS file, it will complain, even though you actually need it there, because you install it into the emulator separately. It still complains, but like I say, you can come back down to the game list, the game settings, and then BAS check. Before I run, turn that off. So let's run Crazy Taxi, see what happens. Seems to be working okay for me. And ironically, this is using Flycast within RetroArch rather than the Redream emulator we, we downloaded. So, so you can pick and choose which one you which you which emulator it uses. Also, the default is use the Flycast core within RetroArch. So we'll just exit out of here. Uh, and then to change that, what you do is come back, go into the main menu, and there's game settings. And if you come down this list to her uh, system advanced configuration, so we've got a Dreamcast, and in here, this is where we can say like, manually pick Redream and change some other bits around, sort of, you know, the video. You know, 4x3 or 16x9 or live on auto um, and you'll notice if you change the emulator something like Flycast you get a whole bunch of different options as well you get more options within here that's because it's using using RetroArch but let's let's try changing the emulator to Redream make sure that works because it depends on, on your system one emulator might work better than another but it could be a bit of where you've got a system like this it's got multiple options it's worth a, a bit of trial and error See which one works best for you. Um, so we're on Redream now. Let's leave it at that. Come out the menu, back in. Let's try, try Crazy Taxi again. Oh, it's an updated version. It's odd because I'm sure I only installed it a few minutes ago. Sure what keys are set up. I haven't actually set the controller up here, but you can see it's working, but it's obviously it's not quite full screen, so obviously you'd to sort that out you'd want to go back into so this is the redream menu, you come back in here and you'd probably want to you'd change the uh, change it to full screen, uh, whichever one you want and what resolution, because at the moment it's running this little window. And you can see there you can change all the bits and pieces. Um okay input, we haven't really changed it have we so Basically, at the moment, at the moment, it's, it's, it's mapped to a keyboard. Um, I haven't got the, you know, my Xbox controller connected at the moment, but if it was, it should appear in the list, and then you'll I'll be able to pick it and uh, and set it up. What I won't do at the moment. So that's I mean, it's basically working. I haven't got the actual uh, controller set up. So again, that's so it's actually working. It says, so it's those two bar files it does need. Uh, the dc.zip, I'm not quite sure what that's for. Might double check that and um, add that in the comments or something. Um, but yeah, so just for completeness, we can try uh, the other emulator, which was listed there. I think there's another core for RetroArch. So Dreamcast emulator. I oh, know, uh, Demule. So let's, let's pick that. Come back out. Crazy text again. Obviously, we don't have it installed, so not prompt us to download the latest version. Mm. 
yeah, that's not working too well. <laughs> I don't know if that's my system or or what, but yeah. Didn't work too well, that one. I think Demu is, is quite, you know, one of the older ones. So again, so it was complaining about not finding stuff in the... Uh, you see a build date, 2017. So that's, what, six years ago? <laughs> so yeah, it's obviously got an old one, so I probably wouldn't, wouldn't bother using Demuel, to be honest. Unless it works for you. Also, yeah, go ahead, but you probably probably stick to the um, uh, to the RetroArch version um, or Redream. So hopefully, yeah, that's Dreamcast up and running. So it's, like I said, just those two BAS files that you need. Obviously, I can't can't give those out or you know a link to them, but just you know Google search for them or something like archive.org. Have a quick look. You're bound to find it. Um, there is. Um, I've linked in some other videos. I'll link it in this one as well in the description. There's a um, there's certain places that provide kind of BAS packs um, for either retro batch or more batch of serial, that kind of stuff. But they're effectively a BAS set that you can use with, with whatever you want, and, and that will include Dreamcast and, and many others. So I'll leave that link in the description as well, and you can go and grab that. Um, so yeah, that's Dreamcast. Like I say, it's fairly easy to set up. It's just making sure that the two BAS files in in the BIOS slash DC folder um, and away you go so yeah that's it for now hope it was useful please like please subscribe please spread the word and I'll be back soon with a with another video probably another one on on uh, on this on Retrobat probably adding um, I've got some other requests for adding things like uh, like Wii Wii games um, I think some people we're having issues with um, and, and a couple others so and a Wii U was the other one as well. So, yep, yeah, we'll be back soon. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.